Good evening, Southeast Texas. Thank you for joining us tonight. We start with an alert from our 12 news storm trackers. We're all keeping an eye on this weather so far as rain moves in, of course, as you can see on our roofing 911 sky cam doesn't look very active at the moment, but some of these storms could turn severe. So we're under a severe thunderstorm watch until seven this evening. Now these storms are all a part of a strong cold front that could bring a chance of wintry weather by Friday. So Chief Meteorologist Patrick Vaughn joins us now with the timeline of the threats for us tonight. Well, this evening it looks like uh, we will possibly see an isolated severe storm this evening until that front comes through. Uh, damaging winds the main threat, in my opinion. There is a slight risk all across southeast Texas. And again, that uh, severe thunderstorm watch until 7 p.m. That may be extended as we're continuing to watch not so much the activity over us now. These sails off towards our west, over towards Conroe, Cleveland, over towards Grimes County, and uh, over towards Waller County. Uh, so far, I haven't seen any warnings, but uh, they may extend that severe thunderstorm watch past 7 p.m. We're waiting on that. Right now, the heaviest activity in North Beaumont, North Jefferson County, I should say, and between Orange and Mauriceville, but I uh, don't see any hail or any wind out of these, just heavy rain. Otherwise, uh, looking at that front arriving in the lakes area, roughly around 9, 9, 30, 10 o'clock, then into the triangle, roughly around 11 midnight, winds will shift to the north, the severe threat goes bye-bye, and temperatures go down. And in fact, we could see temperatures by morning into the low to mid 40s across the area. And that means wind chills would be into the mid to upper 20s. More on the potential, the small, small potential of a wintry mix. And when that will affect our area, if at all, in just a few minutes. All right, thanks, Patrick. And local leaders are keeping tabs on how this potential for severe weather could impact our area. Cristiano Ramos joins us now on those leaders on how those leaders are making plans and monitoring conditions. Cristiano. Yeah, Leticia, I'm here at Entergy Services, one of the companies along with local leaders who are monitoring the winter weather carefully. They're improving their plans as new models come out. Hardin County Judge Wayne McDaniel says it's better to have a plan now than to find yourself unprepared. Southeast Texas is in the path of a strong Arctic cold front. We're looking at a small chance for freezing rain or sleet. Thursday night into early Friday morning. And Hardin County Judge Wayne McDaniel is taking action now to make sure Hardin County is ready. He's had daily meetings with the state and Lake Charles National Weather Service. His main concern, keeping the roads safe. The commissioners are being uh, getting their road and bridge departments prepared in case they need to sand any bridges or anything like that. Anything like that. Since the last freeze in February 2021, Entergy has also been preparing following some rolling outages. VP of Power Generation Jason Willis says, quote, we've been hard at work implementing new upgrades including insulation and wind breaks to pipes and pumps. In the Lakes region, Jasper Newton Electrical Cooperative is also making improvements to help get the power back on quickly during a winter storm. Make sure we have plenty of inventory in place in case we have to restore power. And we have crews on standby, uh, both to restore, you know, respond to outages in the field. And we also have personnel here at the office to answer calls from membership. JNEC covers more than 3,000 miles of land, and if there's ice on the roads, it may take longer to restore power. We could go several miles of power lines that's not serving any homes until you get to a group of homes. So it's challenging if you have, you know, trees on the line or something like that to, to get to. That's why officials say to have your own plan if the power goes out. You can use weather stripping to cover cracks in the attic, doors, and windows to avoid busted pipes. Cover your pipes using insulation and let them drip. If you're using an alternate heating source like a space heater or fireplace, remember to follow instructions and always have a fire extinguisher nearby. Judge McDaniel says as the forecast becomes more certain, they'll post their plan on the Hardin County Emergency Management Facebook page. Christiana Ramos, 12 News.